Backfire like a son of a bitch in the middle of that willy. That's some karma right there. <laughs> but anyway, I've been arrested before. That's what I was going to tell you all about. Like, it's, uh... That ain't no thing. But institutionalized. No, I, uh, I never went to fucking, like, fucking jail or in the local county prison. I just, I've been technically arrested. And it was back when I was, like, uh, 17 in high school. So, yeah, um... Take you back to that time. Go with, go with some fucking stories. There's no one the fuck behind me. Watch this shit. <laughs> anyway, um. So, yeah, back in high school, uh. There was a, I was in a shop class, and I'd taken shop like every fucking year. Shop was like the biggest, you know, one of the cool, one of those blow-off classes where you got to kind of have fun, because instead of just a regular blow-off class, you got to fucking weld shit, cut shit up, and try to build things. They normally just fucking melted metal. Um, but I was in the shop class, right? And, uh... Then people would always uh, would skip in shop class. Now skipping school is one thing. I mean, you know, I, I'm guilty of it. Like, a, you know, plenty of people were. But our school had like um, our school had like the zero tolerance policy apparently. Like, like about that shit. But anyway, like the difference was when, whenever you would skip school, you just or a, a class, you just wouldn't go to the class straight up. People in uh, our shop class. Uh, consistently would just be in the middle of shop class and they would just leave and then they would come back like with food they'd go out and get like a fucking bite to eat and come back and like nobody ever gave a fuck like the teachers never said shit you know in fact most of the time like if someone went got some like fucking donuts or some fucking you know some burgers they would just like they'd grab a, some fries or a donut or whatever they just kind of snag whatever they wanted from the uh from the food the person brought beyond that they really didn't say anything about it Rush hour traffic is bad enough. I'll hop into that HOV lane. Kind of illegal to hop into it right now, but I am allowed in it. The high occupancy vehicle lane. Bikes are allowed in, I guess, because I'm. Is this high occupancy on a bike, I guess, one person? But anyway, um. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, People would just walk out of this class, and I've never done it, you know? Like, I've been in shop class for like two years or something, just different versions of the same class. It's always the same fucking class though. You sign up for like a different, under a different name, but it's the same fucking class. And uh, anyway, it was it was rounding up towards the end of uh, my last semester in the, of taking shop. I think I was 17, so I wasn't like a, a senior yet. But yeah, I was a uh, uh, what was it called? The one right before that? I don't know, fucking stupid. Anyway, so I, uh. You know, this sucks. I'm about to get in the HOV lane. That's how you do it. Haha! Look at these bitches! This actually, this lane ends and not a few more miles, but whatever. Um, anyways, so uh, I'm in that class, and basically we were, uh, his last semester, last few days of the class, we, all we had to do was study for the final, which was like a joke anyway. <laughs> it's like, how do you use a hammer? So, uh, there's a Sonic, like, right across, the, like, the parking lot of where the shop class is, which is, like, a separate building from the high school. It's, like, you actually have to take, like, a little bus to get there. But there's, like, a Sonic right there inside the parking lot. People went to Forest and went to Sonic all the time and just fucking, uh, would come right back to class and nobody said shit. And I looked at, uh, my buddy, who we, we were always hung out in class, I was like, hey, man, you want to go grab a fucking, uh, go grab a shake? And he's like, ah, man, I don't know, dude. I was like, why? He's like, ah, 
I guess we could. I was like, yeah, I mean, everyone else always skips this class and comes back and say shit. The teacher seems to be cool with us. He always hung out and talked to us just like everyone else, you know, he didn't give a fuck. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we fucking, uh, we walked out of class, walked over to Sonic, uh, ordered, a, ordered like a shake, I think, and like a, like, like, a, like a thing of fries or something like that. And, um, and, you know, it takes a few minutes to get your food, so whatever. We finally got our food and we were starting to head back. Well, what I didn't know is that my teacher suddenly and abruptly decided that from now on he didn't like people doing that. He didn't tell anyone about this, he just decided, you know, he, was, he had enough of it. Which was hilarious, because he never even once acted as if he was angry about people doing this, and they would do it on a regular fucking basis. And, uh... So, like, you know, basically, I guess while we were fucking, uh, we were over there getting our food, he called the police. Now, there's a police station inside the high school, you know, it's not like they have to go far. So, we were walking back across the parking lot, No, they knew damn well where we went. I'm walking back across the, the parking lot, and they, uh, and a fucking, uh, police officer stops us. We're walking across the parking lot, he pulls up. You know, he has the lights on. I thought he was just saying what's up. I didn't even, I literally didn't even think anything was going to happen. And he gets out of the fucking police car. And he asks us our names, asks us for students. And we're like, yes, uh, that's my name. And he's all like, he tells me uh, to, to, to put my hands or something on the cop car or do something like that. And I was like, but I just bought this milkshake. Like still, like hasn't even dawned on me I'm in trouble. Like I hold my milkshake. I'm like, I just bought my shake though, man. He slaps, he slaps the fucking thing out of my hand, you know? I'm like, what the hell? He's like, put your hands on the car. And they fucking arrested me right there. And then, like, the whole school, like, the whole school, everyone in the class walked out while it was happening. And, uh, I got, like, cuffed and, uh, put in the back of the cop car. Yeah, it was pretty fucking ridiculous. And I was like, wow. I, I still didn't dawn on me that we were really in trouble. I was like, all right, this is kind of extreme. What, are we going to get, like, a fucking, you know, like, I have to go to a Saturday school or something, you know, or an attention? It seems kind of ridiculous. All for that. And uh, when we got in the cop car, and they shut the door, they weren't in the cop car yet. My buddy looked at me, and he's like, no, man, we're, we're going to have to go to court for this. I was like, we're, we're going to Sonic? <laughs> it still, like, had completely, like, not dawned on me how serious it was. And he's telling me, he's like, the school's got zero... Uh, tolerance policy basically we're going to get like a ticket for this like on like a misdemeanor or something but you know like it's just like okay well, why don't they just write us a fucking ticket and let us go but for some reason the way the school policy works we fucking had to go into their little like they had their own little police station like i said right there on campus they fingerprinted us uh, took our pictures and set us down right there like basically they said all right here's the deal like we have you either have to like we have, you have to get a hold of your, your parents, your guardian, so we can talk to them and explain what happened, that you got in trouble. If you can't get a hold of anybody, we're going to take you down to the, uh, the, county, uh, the county jail. It's like, wow, that's, that's pretty fucking serious, right? So we're sitting there telling us all that, and I, go, I get on the phone and I'm trying to call my, uh, my parents, who both have cell phones on all the time, and none of them wanted to answer their phones that day. So I ended up asking them, like, can I call my grandparents? like yeah I guess I, I guess I can let that pass I guess I can let that fly for you you know you're being a fucking horrible member of society and all so I called my grandma I have to tell her I just got fucking uh, picked up by the police for skipping school and she's even she's like you get picked up for the police by that I was like oh, apparently she's just like oh I'm sorry that happened and she talks to the police and like, you know, lets them know that she's been informed that I was in trouble, and they let us go after that. Like, if we didn't get, um, if we had to go down to county, they did have, they were going to have to pay, a, uh, like, a bill to get us out or something. It wasn't going to be much, but they are going to have to pay something. And, pretty ridiculous situation, all in all. And, and in the end of it, yeah, we just ended up, like, we technically had been, like, arrested. Like, that's, that's actually how I was, like, thrown down. Like, I have fingerprints and pictures and everything's taken. And then I, I could never find it online. You're supposed to be able to find your bug shots. But I sold because I was, like, a minor. Like, mine aren't, like, available online like everyone else's are at the time. You know, I was, like, 17. So, anyway, it took, like, a year to go to court for it. And all they ended up doing was giving me, like, the most minimum sentence possible, which was eight hours of community service, which I didn't even do. I took the uh, paper 
my local, like my church where I went to church at, and my uh, youth minister just signed off on it. He goes, he's like, this is such bullshit. <laughs> just sign the thing. <laughs> he's like, there you go, Jake. Don't worry about it. He's like, tight. No, I think we went and got a pizza. Yeah, we did. We went and got like some pizza and hung out for like maybe an hour. And then that was it. He just signed off on the shit. I was like, cool. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, that's how I've been arrested. So I'm not afraid of the law. Bring them on. <laughs> oh, anyway, that's that's pretty much it. Anyway, talk to y'all later. As I'm making this video, I'm like a week into like my, I guess my second my my second period of it or whatever you want to call it. I've completed 30 days already now. I'm like into another week, but the pictures that I take are at uh, are at the 30 day mark. No. Shit, I wouldn't have done it if I seen you at the light, man. <laughs>